today we will be reading an excerpt from the great story Capartic. I love this novel. It's a quite a masterpiece. Stay tuned. What's up guys? Welcome back to Sense Sense. As always, I'm Joshua and to my loyal subscribers and viewers, thank you. And to all my new viewers and hopefully new subscribers who haven't hit that subscribe button, click it guys. It's not that hard. Today we're going to be talking about a fragrance from the Indie House Imaginary Authors. I had received a few samples uh, a few months back from a friend of mine from Imaginary Authors, Joshua. And uh, I went through all of them and I smelled them and I wore them and I took my time with them. And after much deliberation, I came to a conclusion that there was one fragrance that stood out to me more than any. And guys, the fragrance we're talking about is Cape Heartache. I was actually gonna give this to myself for Christmas and uh, I had gone on the website, I was literally on the trigger finger of clicking to buy this and I jumped on a fragrance group and I saw a guy by the name of Nick Perriault. Uh, he's from Maine, he's a lobster fisherman and the dude is as cool as the other side of the pillow. Uh, shout out to you Nick and thank you for an easy transaction. Uh, he went ahead and sold me the bottle, came super quick. It, he sent it to me, the original packaging, which I thought was really cool of him. Um, as you can see, the original packaging looks a lot like a book. Um, when you open it up, of course, the fragrance is on the inside. Sorry, Josh, and sorry, Nick, but guys, don't care about the box. So let's get to the fragrance, guys. The fragrance we're talking about, guys, is Camp Heartache. Camp Heartache smells like your trip to camp when you were a kid. You're gonna get furs, resins, you're gonna get vanilla, you're gonna get strawberry, you're gonna get mountain fog, which is an imaginary note, and old growth. I uh, don't know what that means. I hope old growth isn't uh, referring to that big knot that some older ladies get on their back. You know, they walk with the hunch and uh, you know, they're kind of creepy and it's just this growth on their back. No, guys, this fragrance is going to transport you to a woody, foresty area. This is perfect for this time of year, especially for the winter, but uh, it's definitely a great fragrance for the holidays. You're gonna smell a lot like a Christmas tree, but you're gonna smell like a fantastic Christmas tree. Not a synthetic fragrance. This is definitely a very natural smelling fragrance, very well blended. When it comes to longevity, guys, this thing lasts forever. I've had it for literally a couple of days and I've sprayed on myself and it projects like a monster and everyone smells me and they think that I must be uh, hugging trees for a living, that I work at a, uh, a, a tree service place where you go and buy your Christmas tree. They think that I've just been doing that for eight plus hours because this fragrance will last eight plus hours. When it comes to sillage and uh, scent bubble, it definitely keeps a huge bubble around you guys and people will smell you as you walk by and they'll get that whiff and they may not even know it's you, but you can tell on their face that they're warmed from the inside out, guys. Joshua, I just want to tell you guys, this is a fantastic fragrance, and there's a lot of other great fragrances from their line, like Memoirs from a Trespasser, uh, Slow Explosions, Every Storm of Serenade, City on Fire, which smells like bacon. So to all my keto friends, guys, if you want to smell like you eat, literally, City on Fire is fantastic for that, guys. So if you're looking for a fragrance house that's different and you're looking for a fragrance house that's off the beaten path and you wanna get one of these exciting fragrances right here, guys, this is definitely the one to get. I love this fragrance. Check out the, the fragrance house. It's Imaginary Authors, imaginaryauthors.com, guys. Google it if you can't find it. All right, guys, that about does it for me. This is my last video of 2017, guys. 2017 has been a great year, and uh, I definitely hope that 2018 brings each and every one of you exactly what you strive to do. Uh, I don't hope any of you get easy handouts. I hope you have to work for it because what you work for is definitely worth it. And uh, I really like to think that I've been working really hard at this channel thing, and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, please continue to support me. Uh, you have no idea how much it means. Uh, this is more a hobby than anything, but uh, it definitely feels good to know that there's people out there who feel a lot like me about fragrances. Guys, as always, I'll smell you later until 2018. Peace!